If you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Wise words from my boy, Benny. I think it was Benjamin Franklin. I don't know if he went by Benny or not, but I'll tell you, Benny. <laughs> okay, Mr. Franklin. All right, guys. So what does it mean to create a daily plan for your entire team? That's what we're gonna talk about today, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, show a little love. And if you do, maybe we might make Benny Boy awaken from the grave and come back and teach a lesson right here at Active Age. <laughs> Anyways, today we're talking about creating a daily plan. I cannot stress just how important it is for you to create a visual for new team members as well as for yourself to hold everyone accountable for what a day should look like in every single role. So if you have someone that's in charge of the kitchen, what does their day look like? Have you got someone in charge of the front desk? What does their ideal day look like? If you have a care team, what does their day look like? What are your activity director's days look like? In fact, if you are hiring an administrator, what does your administrator's day look like? What are they supposed to be doing? So you want to create a plan based on your individual roles of your team. And think about this plan as something from the time that they come in to work to the time that they leave, from the very beginning in the morning to the time they leave, in hour increments, what should they be doing? What does that time frame look like from eight to nine and from nine to 10 and from 10 to 11? What types of activities should each of these department heads be doing? Envision what a day should look like. Envision how the ideal day would flow and write every single step down onto a sheet of paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to prioritize all of these items and you're going to put them in between time blocks. So the goal would be is if someone's starting for the first time in any of these roles from that period of time from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., they would have an idea of like what they're supposed to do from that period. Hey, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to make sure I take all the members that need assistance to the bathroom between the hours of 9 and 10 a.m. I need to make sure that all services are wiped down between 9 and 10 a.m. So this should include, you know, the uh, the tables. Maybe it's the, the where, where people put their arms on the, you know, the armrest on the chairs. Maybe it's the um, all of the bathrooms where the door handles are. You know, write specific details as to what should be clean and where. Interested in owning your very own Active Age? Join the fastest growing franchise concept in senior care. As an Active Age franchise partner, you can be in business for yourself, but not by yourself. Have access to a world-class Margaritaville style environment, and together we can change the world for seniors and their family caregivers. Own an Active Age today. You know, so you want to put this on the schedule. Say, say there's like, okay, from 10 to 11 is when we assist with showers. Okay, who's the designated person? And now we know that we don't do showers from nine to 10. We do showers from 10 to 11. Maybe there's a reason why, you know, of course, everyone is going to like run their center a little bit differently. So it's going to be based on how you run your center, but you want to create a standardized way that everyone could visualize an ideal day depending on their role. You know, say you're, you're the, the person in the kitchen comes in at 9 a.m. What are they doing between 9 and 10 and then 10 to 11 to prep for lunch? You know, maybe there's certain activities that are happening from 9 to 10 and then certain activities that are happening from 10 to 11. You know, these are things that you should think about. When it comes to transportation, you know, we have an a.m. transportation route and a p.m. transportation route and there's an entirely different set of steps for AM versus PM. And so when they come in, they would write down, okay, I did this, I sign. Okay, I did this, I sign. And they carry this plan with them and they initial by the plan until they get a grasp on the plan. And then eventually what we do is we put that plan onto their phone and now their checklist items are on their phone. And it reminds them from nine to 10 and 10 to 11 through an app that we use. And so the whole idea behind this is to create habits, to create routine so that people know what they're supposed to be doing between certain periods of time during the day. And now you've set expectations and you made it very clear and people can visualize it. They understand it. It's 
Look, you gave it to them black and white. There's no gray area. They know exactly what they need to be doing. And so what it does is it relieves you from having to go around and micromanaging everything because you put your thoughts, your ideas, you, you know, the, the, the plan onto a piece of paper and you gave it to someone so that they could implement. And yes, some of these things might seem basic and yes, some of them may seem elementary, but the thing is, is look, we're creatures of habit. And if you can Take someone who is just starting out, who has no idea what they're supposed to be doing, and you can train them and give them what an ideal day looks like, then you're gonna set them up for success and there'll be less disappointment down the road because they know what you expect of them. And so make sure you create a plan for every role. Define every single role in your adult day center. Understand what the responsibilities of every single role are. Make it very clear what they should be doing between every hour of their time scheduled to be at work and write it down and then give that plan to your team and then hold them accountable to fulfilling what's on that paper and give them the ability to make suggestions and to offer feedback so that you can improve the plan. Because at the end of the day, you may envision this perfect day, but then you may come to a staff meeting, come to find out that you know, this is impeding and getting in the way of this role, or this thing is, you know, because we do it so late in the day, it's affecting how this other thing works. And you work together as a team. You give them the autonomy to make suggestions, to make improvements so you can improve this daily plan. And then eventually it gets to a point where there's a united consensus that this is the perfect plan. And this is the plan that we stick to. And this is the plan that works really, really well for this organization. And now you have a solid, plan to follow that everyone is on board with and that becomes something that will truly empower your team and take a lot of the weight off of you and allow you to grow and expand and create systems and procedures and processes and I don't even like systems and procedures and processes but guess what you gotta have them if you're gonna be successful you gotta have them if you want to hold people to a higher standard you gotta have them if you have expectations of your team so that they know what they clearly, clearly are. Anyways, guys, that being said, if you wanna start your very own adult day center, go to adcpro.com. Join us for our monthly webinars, join us for our, er, in our private Facebook group. And if you haven't already, you wanna own your very own ActiveAge, go to activeagecare.com forward slash franchise. We'll see you on the next one, peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here and make sure you subscribe to our channel, click here.